Okay, we're out here on Far A, we also call this Trail D, um, uh, near the ammunition bunks. And so this is our, um, uh, testing out some of our new survey methods for um, looking specifically at wetland recovery. And so for this, we're gonna do our regular um, protocol, but instead of doing a permanent plot, we're gonna do this in a fixed diameter area, a, a point plot that's randomly uh, selected each year. And, uh, and in this plot, we're gonna do a specific diameter. Um, we're, we're, we're finalizing it, but on the order of about um, 10 feet, 10, 12 feet, uh, excuse me, radius, radius of, of about 10, 10 feet. We're gonna do all our typical uh, protocols in there. In addition, we're going to do the herbaceous uh, visual estimates of, of or the herbaceous cover, focusing on, on primarily a common thing slash wetland uh, uh, facultative or obligate things. And so, um, so we would uh, come in here and in that diameter, we would estimate, in the case of this clover, we'd estimate the, the percent cover that it's occupying on the, on the ground. Um, and th these are meant to be rapid, um, quick assessments, so we don't spend a lot of time. And the idea here is we lose a little bit of pr precision on any one individual uh, point, but we're able to get many points is the idea here. So we get a larger sample size. So in addition to that, then once we've done our, our, our tight in um, plot, where we're doing our, our, our traditional protocols. Then we're gonna expand that. Um, where, again, we, we, where we do um, blackberry cover, ferns, overstory estimate of cover of native exotics, um, um, all woody species identified, DBH and height, all that kind of stuff. Then once that's done, we're gonna do an expanded one. So for the expanded one, the first thing we're gonna do, and this is an example of a relatively um, open plot. And so, so the first thing we'll do is we're gonna give a score to each of these plots for this expanded radius of inspection. So the expanded radius is gonna be on the order of about, um, um, uh, about 10 meters or so. So in this particular case, in this part of the forest, which is relatively open, it's very easy to see everything. And again, the idea is not to walk around and move much, but to do essentially, um, you know, stand in one point and, and spin around and do the, um, do the surveys. So for here, we're first going to score the plot in terms of visibility, which we've not done before. So this is a visibility score, and we're going to have just three broad categories of visibility. This is one extreme. This is what we would call open. So here, at the end of the 10-meter radius, I can see the soil surface. Over there, I can see the soil. Over there, I can see the soil. Over there, I can see the soil. There, I can come close to seeing the soil. There, I can see you know, a good chunk of the soil. There, I can totally see the soil, etc. So this would get a score of open. The other extreme would be if we were in the middle of a massive... Um, blackberry patch where um, you know essentially everything would be about this close as this tree is to me right and and we would be just right up in it and we couldn't see much so that would be uh, scored as an obscured plot and then the vast majority of our plots are probably going to be in between those two extremes so so somewhere between those two called mixed and that'll be key for our analysis um, then we'll take our uh, our phones take a picture due north looking horizontally a picture looking straight up to capture the overstory cover, and then a picture looking dead south um, for uh, representative uh, uh, photo plots and for looking back at later if there was any question about things. Then we'll drop, uh, we'll record the specific GPS location. Uh, then we will do woody species, again, outside that initial core uh, radius area, because we've already done that, we'll do the expanded area. Um, and for that, we're not gonna do everything. We're going to do the diameter, and height of woody species that are, um, where the diameter is larger than something we'll determine in a bit, but probably on the order of 10 centimeter dBH. So if it's more than 10 centimeter dBH, the trees and the height um, and, uh, and species ident identity. And then um, for other things that aren't that big, and so the classic example here in, our, in this survey plot would be this um, tallow, which we really want to know if the tallow is there, right? This invas invasive species we're trying to get rid of. Um, but note, it is, it is less than the 25 centimeter diameter. It's about one centimeter uh, dBH here on this guy. And so for this individual, it would um, get a tick mark. And we're going to have three broad categories here for these um, non uh, non uh, highly um, specifically measured um, individuals. We're just gonna have a checkbox, and it just says there is uh, an individual of this species that is less than a half meter, an individual that is from a half meter to a meter, or a meter that is, or, or an individual that is taller than 1.5 meters. As long as you see one, you just hit the checkbox, you do not need to count all them or anything like that. It's just, it's just we have this uh, cohort, the size class present in this area. Um, 
And so uh, 